We're back. Nice old. Yeah, so we came here. We arrived Sunday, didn't we? Yes, Sunday afternoon. And uh, yeah, we just um, we'll do a little bit of a life update. And uh, but for now, we're just going to have a quick look at our Bunkong Vengta house, our house renovation house. So look. This is the first time, by the way. Yeah, this is this is the first time we're seeing it. So it looks like if I spin it around. They've done some modifications to the steps here. So if you remember, there were steps, um, but I think the local council wanted to like have it so like- Scooty access. Yeah, so scooties can go down. So there's, there's a road up here and then there's another road down the hill. And so this modification allows it to go down there. So this is it, here's the steps. Like they're going to do railings here, right? Which is good because because like the railing, um, I was a bit scared because like if someone drives off, could hit our kids down there. Mm. So I'm glad that there's railings in in the process. But at the moment, it's like yeah. super sketchy to walk right there because yeah. look, look at that cliff right there, yeah. super sketchy. Yeah. Oh no! Look at our gate. Oh no. So if you remember, this was our nice, big, beautiful gate. And because they've like, the road has risen up, we now don't have access via that gate. And now this is our new gate, I guess, with these super basic steps. These are disgusting. Should I try and get in? Oh my goodness. How bad is this? This is so bad. They even, um, look, they even just... They welded without, up. Without telling me, they even just welded up my, the gate. Like, you can't even open it. It's like, they didn't even tell me that they did this. Wow. Or even bother to, like, paint Be it over, make it look nice again or anything. Because we might want to take this down and reuse it, like, yeah. over here. But now they've just, like, welded it up without asking. Oh my goodness. And check this out. See over there how there's like, it's still exposed. It's not a proper retaining wall. Yeah. So they haven't retained it all the way down. Yeah. And so now all the load from this road is there and it's completely exposed. I wonder who the engineer on this job was. Yeah, anyway. Another thing that I've noticed is like all of the gates are already getting pretty rusty, especially mm. around here. Mm. So, you know, I suppose after a year, like that's something that's kind of expected. And, and if, we just repaint it, right? Yeah, I suppose we just need to like sand it off and repaint it or something. But, but seriously, this is like so scary for my kids to just like, Oh yeah. you know, it's like... like look at this death trap, corrugated iron, mm -hmm. like where you can cut yourself. You can fall over there, you can fall down there, like yeah. this is... Like such a poor Super job. Super bad. Super bad. I'm extremely unimpressed. Yeah, so while we were gone, we had some tenants stay here and I got a message from them just being like, hey, something bad's happening. And then they send us a photo of this. We'll put that photo up on the screen. Yeah. Uh, and, you, and there's a ladder and that was the access. Now, obviously since then they've given us these super basic Because the neighbors complained, steps. Kip. She just told me yeah. they didn't have anything that and the neighbors complained and they put that ridiculous. Crazy. Crazy. And it's like, it's not like we even get like scooty access or anything. Mm. Like it's just a complete downgrade for us and it's mm. terrible. And like, just have a look at this concrete work. Like whoever was the engineer, come, come down here. Um, by the way, uh, my background's engineering. Civil engineer, yeah. Like, look at this, for example. Like, that's like the concrete work, how many gaps and holes there are. I can see the reinforcement. If someone comes down and hits this, like that's just gonna bend over. Like that's not stopping any vehicles. Like, you know, it's just like such basic work. Whoever this engineer was, do not hire him. Terrible engineer, or her. Could be a girl, I guess. Um, and then over here, like if you're going to be making a retaining wall, you gotta make sure it's retaining the whole thing. 
Like, obviously, we did this one, and that was just, like, out of our own initiative. But, ideally, you want the whole thing to be re retained, especially if you're wanting to support vehicle loads up there. Anyway, this is, like, a massive shock. A massive shock. Oh, my goodness. It's terrible. Yeah. We're gonna have to get them to change it. Straight up. Anyway, let's, let's have a look at the condition of the place. See how the rest of it held up over time. So, inside is actually pretty unchanged. Now, one thing I've noticed is that over time, some of the, like, wall and the ceiling has, um, like, started to come apart. And it's kind of expected because as you know, a house goes through the seasons, it gets hot, it expands, it gets cold, it contracts. And so you can see here that there's like, you know, a gap forming along the seam up there. <laughs> Looks like the tenants left a clothesline here. We'll have to take that down. Um, and yeah, but I mean, in my opinion, it's not too bad. Like it's actually not too bad. Yeah. Um, the floor's holding up well, we're de definitely going to have to re-oil it. Mm -hmm. um, and we had a really good idea. Okay, imagine this, come. Up here, projector roller, projector screen, come down. We already have the power outlet up here, mm -hmm. ready to go. All we need to do is hang a projector. And we've got a cinema, baby. <laughs> cinema. <laughs> Um, the other thing we're going to have to do is put in the kitchen. So obviously, if you remember from last time, we never did the kitchen. We have the plumbing here ready to go. Um, so this is drainage, and this is going to be um, where the pump goes. So the whole house has a pump as well. Now, unfortunately, the plumber, I had the pipes nice and long, and it's a bit of a pet peeve of mine, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. But the plumber cut it so short, so we're going to have to, like, you know, somehow like tear apart this part so we've got some actual length to be able to put the um to put the pump on but for now it's just gravity fed and on top of that if you come around here another little upgrade i suppose is we've got a toilet tanky here now as well so it's going to provide more head to the rest of the house so we should at least have a bit more pressure and i'll go test it downstairs so yeah let's head downstairs um, looks like the paint here is not holding up very well. It was just stain, right? We just stained it. Yeah. Might need a restain. Mm -hmm. Like every now and again, the guys who did the services just did some dodgy things. Like this is full on 240 power right here. Mm -hmm. Just like being wired up through there. So it's just like, you know, lots of cutting corners, which is so annoying. And then they just put it through there. Like really, there should be conduit along there. Mm. Sorry, this is turning into a bit of a rant video, but you yeah, know, bear with me. <laughs> um, okay, look what else the tenant did. They have created a bit of a shack. I actually haven't seen this. So... Yeah, I suppose it's a small shack for cooking because mm. obviously we didn't have a kitchen place. Yeah, kitchen upstairs. Mm. So, so we'll have to tear that apart. We'll have to tear that down. Um, yeah. We do want like an outdoor barbecue area mm -hmm. and that's why I didn't have the tap there. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we'll have to tear that down because we don't want to lose all of this beautiful real estate here. Mm. And I wonder how the bathroom is holding up. I forgot we didn't put a window here. Oh, yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. It's exactly how, how we left it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mirror is secure enough. I have noticed that we've got like some like termite problems. Oh, right. Can you check the pressure of the shower? Yeah, let's have a look at that. Yeah. I assume this is hot. So 
it's not crazy pressure, but you can have a decent shower. Mm -hmm. you know. It's a super nice bathroom, though. Mm -hmm. Oh no, have a look at the door, it's starting to split. I wonder if that's termites as well. Well, other than that, um, yeah, we just wanted to announce that we're back for a bit. Mm -hmm. And also we have a surprise. Mm -hmm. So make sure you go check that out on Moy's channel. Should we tell them what it is or let them let them find out for themselves? Yeah, find out. Right? Yeah, find out on Moy's channel. I'll leave a link in the description. But we're happy to be back mm. with our family. Yeah, yeah. So we've been having over in Australia and actually in a lot of Western countries, people are like struggling a lot because cost of living is crazy over there. Mm -hmm. And then because of the amount that you have to work to cover that cost of living, it just becomes really difficult, doesn't it? Yeah, especially for people with kids. Mm. So um, yeah, it's like, you know. Yeah, and like a lot of people have to like rely on like daycare um, that's like provided by like, you know, like it's for in Australia, it's subsidized by the government, mm -hmm. but we just like, don't really want to put our kids through daycare because like, we want to be like, kind of like in control of the way they're raised. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's like, are we just not comfortable uh, letting a like complete stranger take care of our baby all day? Yeah. And there's so many like horror stories as well, yeah. like on the news and the stuff news of like, stuff. yeah. So, um, yeah. So, but we're over here um, and we've got our tribe, which yeah. is Moy's family, yeah. and um, they've been really helpful over the last few days. Yeah, even now we love the kids at, at our Yeah, home. so we so we can actually yeah. start to make videos. So that's why we haven't been uploading. We're just so flat out that we just don't have time for like YouTube yeah. or anything like that. Yeah. But we're back, baby, aren't we? Yeah, here we are. <laughs> You'll see more of us. Yeah, also um, if you look down there, our garden's super yeah. trashy. Uh, I'll be working on that in my spare time. Mm. Get myself a shovel and a mattock yeah. and oh, by the way, do some landscaping. Yeah, by the way, one thing I forgot to mention was we're going to build uh, a kitchen upstairs. So if you are someone who built kitchen cabinets or a company or a shop, contact us because we can do a collaboration. A collaboration. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We'd be really interested in a collaboration. Yeah, we want a really nice kitchen. Yeah, yeah. yeah also, also we want to like be able to support locals as yeah. well. So, um, yeah, all right. Peace out. Bye. <laughs>